Go Nichiwa Amina, this is Kerr, and you're watching Pokecast. Today's 10 minute first person impression is going to be on an Xbox 360 game, and that is Monster High New Ghoul in School. Real quick, one player, four meg to save. And yeah, I have to say, I'm very excited to give this one another play. I absolutely love the PS3 version, and I even got the opportunity to help uh, find out one of the ways to get one of the trophies because we couldn't find out where the heck the last teacher was. So it was a community search for this guy and I would help find it. And so, yeah, as always, Tim is playing game first time playing game a version of on a call, skippy thing. Let's get a timer started. Timer started and away we go. I don't use any of my memory on the system. Welcome to Monster High. It's a place where who you are is more important than what you are. And we've been waiting for a new ghoul just like you to be a part of it. Here is your device. What kind of monster do you want to be? This is very high. Okay, so we got ghoul types. We got mummy, sea monster, skeleton, vampire, werecat, werewolf, zombie, cyclops, dragon, gargoyle, Frankenstein, ghost. Hmm. Honestly, let's just go for the cat girl. What they're gonna do? A werecat. Skin tone color. Let's see. I like this one because the eyes work good. And you have one's good and three's good. Let's do three. Clothes. PJs, no. Outfit one. Oh, that's perfect. I like that. Hairstyle. Eleven. Hmm. This is always difficult to choose because they got a lot of good hairstyles in here. I wouldn't mind to use a genie one, but it's just, it's doesn't work very good. Okay, that works. Nah. Okay. There we go. Name for her. Hmm. Which is... Well, she doesn't really have any greens. I can't call her that. Hmm. Rosho. And... There we go. Rosho. Okay. Yes, that's how we say. Come on, try. Okay. So basically, in this game, you're trying to figure out the big mystery that's going on. Um, you have a gazillion coins. Oh my gosh, to collect, and you had to talk to every professor. The catch is, the professors literally. Um, appear in their classrooms at the right time. So you got to make sure to do all that. So, Monster High. And, uh, yay! I haven't seen you around before. Are you new here? Welcome to Monster High. It's really nice to meet you. I love it when the school gets new blood. There's always a chance of making new friends. Oh, before I forget, you must find new new update version of the eye coffin, Mappy. If you find your way around campus, would you like to explain the eye coffin map? Yes, because people haven't. Yet. Basically, that's it. Bring it up. Choose your position. Put the uh, eye coffin away. 
you know, being all new and all, you should probably head over to the office to see Head Mentor's Bloodgood. No doubt you'll need to sign in or something. I've updated your mic coffin map with the location of the office. You better get going. You don't want to keep Bloodgood waiting. She might, um, lose her head. <laughs> she had to. She absolutely had to. Let's go back over here. Yay, we got those ones. Was there any more I can get? Here. I always forget. I don't see any. So. Here's, I mean, you literally get to go around the whole school. It's, it's so cool. Yay. I love the music. The music's really good. Graphically, it looks nice as well. I forget if the coins regenerate or not. But anyway, who cares? And they love to put them in awkward spots because, you know, why not? Well, that was a nice shortcut. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> ah, there you are. You must be a new ghoul. I miss good, good. Mistress of the Hunter High. On behalf of the staff, students, I'd like to offer you a warm welcome to campus. In your transition into the school, I'll tie you into the body to show you around and introduce you to some of her friends. Her name is Spectra Vondergeist. And she's Bit of a celebrity around these parts. You were the blogger of the Cory Gazette. Anyway, I decided to set this location to Icoff and map. It's probably the Vortnity Tori. Who knows? It might even be you. Hope you have a spectacular first day. Uh, it's always funny. It's it's for me. It's really hard to um, to read it while I'm actually hearing them talk. So it makes it very hard sometimes. I forget. No. Okay. I'll go right through here. Okay, she is over here. Home ec and computers. No, okay, she's over this way now. Okay, she's over in the library. And there she is. But I really want to get my coins first. So I got two of 30 of them. How do I get those? She doesn't. Hmm. Oh no, don't get stuck. Do not get stuck. There we go. Of course, magically she can make the jump now. Oh, look, there's a flag. And there's 20 flags everywhere. Guess I don't need to do that anymore. Okay. I think I got everything. 
Oh, hello, lovely. But I'm not supposed to talk to you yet. No, can't do that yet. I wonder if that box is movable. It's been a while. You know, after I platinum a game, I seldomly come back to it. To be honest. Now, if it's a rhythm-based game, dancing or whatever, then that's different. No, there goes a the timer. <laughs> okay. Yeah, all honesty, I don't remember if uh, the coins regenerate or not. I think they do. I think. Ah, I forget. But yeah, there's a ton of collectibles in here. We got, like I said, we have to talk to all the teachers. Um, got to complete all the quests. You know, complete the storyline, all that and really just have fun with it. It's a very enjoyable game. And, you know, I actually, I think I saw like one web cartoon of it. And then it's like, okay, that was pretty cool. Saw the game like, yeah, screw it. I like trying out the games that are specifically made for the girls. Because, you know, the, the, the misconception about that whole thing was, you know, while we're growing up, of course, back in the 80s, and of course when you're a young boy, it's like, I'm a girl's game. You know, that's usually what the attitude is. But I grew up with, it came to video games. Honestly, we did not care one bit what it was. If we could get a new game, we got it and we enjoyed it. And that's when we started noticing something that um, either they were way harder than the boys' games, like... The Little Mermaid for NES, or they were just genuinely good games. And that was something that happened nine out of ten times. Of course, you're always going to have that one game where there's like, let's make a girl game. They put it together and it's so bad, they, they put no effort in it to be a game. You're just like, uh. So, whenever I see games like this, you know, I was, I just like, well, why not? I'm picking this up. I can't wait to try it out. And I was really happy I did that because this is a game that I, like I said, genuinely found it to be fun. So, highly recommend it. Um, it's a great game to play with the kids, especially if they love the show. Because it's going to be... To get 100%... Um, it could be anywhere, uh, I think it's like, maybe uh, it's a six hour run to get 100% of everything, and I think the main story, maybe be like five or six, I forget how long it took me, but it took me a lot longer, because I mean, it was, I wasn't kidding about that teacher, we, as a community came together, and we finally found it, and I was like, guys, go here, he's here, and everybody was like, wait, what? I can verify it! I can verify it! And all of a sudden the platinum... Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> it's like everybody got the platinum after that. So that's why it's just like... This game holds a special place uh, you know, in the memories because of it. Just how unique the experience was to actually be the person to help find that out. And then, you know, just helping out the community. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Um, like I said... I highly recommend this game. So thank you guys for, for uh, checking it out on the 360 with me. This is T Segura saying ciao and sayonara.